Baby girl, I got the sauce Kinda hard to keep them off. Oh. Baby girl, I got that drill. Drip. Hey, drip. What's good, y'all? So today I decided that I wanted to do a um uh, my YouTube video setup. I wanted to show y'all my setup when I'm talking to the camera and not doing the skit, cause doing the skit I don't need all this stuff. But when I sit up here and talk to y'all. I gotta set everything up, so I wanted to show y'all everything that I have, how much everything costs, and this video should be entertaining, should be helpful in some kind of way to y'all um, inspiring YouTubers out there. I didn't put this on my tutorial channel because it's not a tutorial, it's just like me showing y'all my own setup. So I will be using my old camera right here to go in depth with everything. I'll be moving around, I ain't gonna be sitting in this spot for too long. Alright, so yeah, let's get into it. So first on our list, we have the main camera right here. Let me move the mic over because y'all don't think y'all gonna be able to hear me. First off, we got the main camera right here. This is the Sony a7 III. I just bought this camera uh, for Christmas. I just got this camera for Christmas, and this camera is very expensive. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see y'all buying this camera anytime soon. If y'all want it, it's a really nice camera. It's, just, it's really nice. But it is expensive. It, it, it's it's going to run you about two thousand dollars. You know, yeah, you know, ain't no big, you know, big deal. But you know, you know, I had to save up a lot for that. It was, yeah. But the quality on this camera is really good. The autofocus is amazing. I trust the autofocus with my life because it's just that good. And the overall quality of it is just nice. I give this camera a nine out of ten. The reason being because it doesn't have a flip out screen. It doesn't have a flip out screen. It only tilts like tilts up and down and all that so it's not really a big deal for me um that's why i had to get this monitor but if it had a flip out screen i would have gave it a 10 out of 10. now the camera that i'm using right now it does have a flip out screen this is the screen right here flips out like that so yeah uh moving on we have this monitor right here this is a field world monitor it's like a bunch of these out on amazon and it cost me about one 40 130 140 one of those just a little disclaimer i want y'all to know that everything that will be shown in this video every single item y'all show y'all will be in the description so if y'all want to buy one of these a couple of these all of these you can so yeah let's get back to the video this right here is a little rig um i think this cost me about eight dollars i don't really know like i have a bunch of these I, I don't know how much okay so this tripod right here this tripod actually is kind of pricey as well tripods usually run around like uh forty dollars a very a good tripod run about forty dollars but this tripod right here it cost me about um a hundred it is about a hundred dollars and the reason being is because it's like a really sturdy tripod you don't have to worry about it breaking unless you drop it or you just being stupid about it but yeah it's really sturdy i wouldn't say it comes with a lot more features than a regular tripod but it has a lot more twists and turns than a regular tripod and yeah it's it's worth the money but i don't recommend buying this if you just starting youtube get a 40 dollar tripod my 40 dollar tripod is actually over here It's actually right here. I'm gonna take it out real quick. Show y'all the audio sound terrible right now. I'm not close to the mic. But yeah, this is the $40 tripod. I recommend getting this first. Get this first. When you feel like you wanna upgrade and you had your tripod for so long or it just so happened to break, upgrade. Get 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 the get the hundred dollar tripod if you want to spend that much money. That's up to you. So moving on to the audio setup. I'm actually sitting back down. Moving on to the audio setup. This right here is the Tascam DR05. This cost me about a hundred dollars. I bought this actually um in 2014 or 2015 one of those years so i had this for a little minute i'm actually gonna upgrade this whole uh mic setup soon uh this mic stand i had this for a long time i had this i think i had this mic stand like way longer than i started youtube um i think i had this since like 2013 to 2012. yeah this tripod is really old so i'm gonna try to uh find a similar tripod to this when i um, put the links in the description now, this mic right here this is the rode video mic um this mic cost 130 only because it came with a boom pole not this one it came with a boom pole the mic of course and something else. uh i think a core i think a core came with this so yeah 
I've had this mic for, I've had this mic for five years. Um, it's a good mic, but I need to upgrade it. And this cord right here running down, it didn't come with the mic. I don't actually have the uh, cord that came with it, but um, this cord is about like eight to ten dollars. One of them is really cheap. So yeah, this is my mic setup. So moving on to what else? Oh, the lights. Okay. So these lights right here, they cost me around 120. They came together. They're worth the price. The only problem is they don't come with batteries. I'm gonna show y'all the batteries real quick. They don't come with batteries. Y'all gotta buy the batteries separate. I got one right here, and then I got the other one in that um, light over there. Yeah, the batteries cost me around. Uh, $30, $35. So everything so far is, is coming up to about like $2,500, $2,600. If my math is correct, it's probably wrong, but hey, they don't matter, I don't really care. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of saving and hard work and, and years put into all this stuff. I don't recommend buying all this all at once because if you buy all this all at once and you just started making YouTube videos, you're going to be looking like, what the hell do I do with all this stuff? You don't want to learn everything all at once. It's not a good idea. And the reason being I have one light in front of me and one light in the back of me is because I like to give this cinematic look. The way you see me right now, the light is not directly on my face. It's not going straight into my face. A lot of people, they make videos and they put the light right in front of them and it just looks it looks weird when it comes to like making YouTube videos. I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. So I like to put this front light at an angle so it shows like um, the light on one side of my face and then the other side is more of a, of a shadow. It gives it some type of depth when it comes to the filmmaking industry. And this light is in the back of me because it gives me like a little hair light. I ain't got no hair, but it look nice, right? It's like a little highlight. I always keep them like diagonal from each other. I never put them side by side because it's just, it's gonna look weird. Actually, I'ma just, I'ma put it over here just so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, stop pulling cords. Put it over here just to see what, just so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Try to, try to center this, try to make it seem like the same thing. So did y'all notice the difference? I know you see it. It's just, it's too much light on me. I don't like that. I like I like to balance it out. So that's why I put it in the back so it can give me that little headlight. So I'm putting this back over here so I can finish up my little setup. Let's go behind the chair. This chair right here, it, mm, I don't think y'all would really care to know, but this chair cost me um two, no, I'm about to say 200. I'm, I'm lying, I'm lying. I don't know why I said that. This chair cost me around um 120. It's a really good chair. The other chair I was using, I had that chair for about eight years. I had that chair for about eight years. I had that chair for a really long time, so I had to upgrade. It was very important, but this ain't got nothing to do with the YouTube video, so let's put this away. So in the back right here, we got my laptop and we got a monitor and my TV. Now, I know y'all seen in our previous videos where y'all see like, like a bunch of colors in the back. I like to put this back here to give it, to give my background some type of color, some type of something in the background. Because when I turn the TV off and the monitor off, it's just nothing but black. And I feel like that looks boring. I like to give my, uh, I like to give my stuff some some color to it some some niceness you know what else can i say about my setup what else can i say about my setup um that's pretty much it uh i use this remote right here to record and stop my recording when i'm uh sitting here doing a video it really helps out i ain't gotta like keep getting up even though the camera's like right there but still i ain't gotta get up and turn it off and turn it back on and stuff so this this is only for the sony camera um, this cost me $25 because it's a wireless remote, so it really came in handy. And I keep the mic like right above me. I don't put it in the frame, of course. I don't put none of the lights in the frame because if I turn it right here, y'all can see the little, um, y'all can see the little, let's see. You see how it's turning black? It look weird. It look boring. So when I turn it back on, it takes too long. Yeah, when I turn it back on, it give me some type of uh, color. So, yeah. It's nice. So yeah, I keep this right above me because if I move this up any higher, y'all gonna see it. And I try to keep my face zoomed in on the camera at a good uh, good length, good focal length. It's good to have it as close as you can. It's good to have the mic as close as you can. Um, you can put the mic on the camera. I always do that. I still do that to this day. But because I have the little monitor here, I can't do that. I can't do both at the same time. So yeah, man, overall, this setup, I want to say everything cost me about $3,000. It's a lot of money. 
It's a lot of money. Um, I don't recommend spending that much money if you just starting YouTube. Even your first two years, I don't recommend it. This is money that you should be investing in yourself when you've been doing this for so long and you know what you're doing so um always start off small i said this on my um tutorial channel I always start off small this isn't my first camera but this is my second camera um this is a really good camera if you are looking to buy this this camera costs 600 dollars and this mic not this is not a mic this gorilla pod right here this is like a mini tripod this costs me 50 dollars. anything cheaper than this it's gonna break i'm just letting you know that now so you gotta spend a little money to uh, get some uh, decent stuff and this lens right here this is a wide angle lens it costs uh 250 um this does not come with the camera the standard lens come with this camera I, that lens is over there and i think that's it how y'all like it y'all like it it's cool it's cute invest in yourself invest in your youtube invest in your filmmaking whatever you want to do as far as cameras always invest in yourself get the decent stuff first don't go the cheap route don't go the expensive route go in between like get the get the stuff that's affordable there's a difference between investing in yourself and wasting money on yourself because like i said buying all of this at the beginner stage, that's a waste of money because I'm still learning to this day about all of this stuff. I know a lot about it, but I'm still learning to this day. It's probably still some stuff that I need to learn about it. But it's the fact that I know how to set up my um, my stuff how I want it. Invest in yourself. Don't, don't waste money. Everything will be in the description. Every link, even this tripod over here, the tripod link to buy will be in the description yeah that is it so it's some things i want to say real quick before i end this video i noticed that i really don't say this and i'm mad at myself for not saying it because i need to start promoting myself and taking myself more serious than i already do I'm put this over here all right so beam y'all see the shirt right here y'all see the shirt i got merch i got merch the links are down below if you literally scroll up you will see the shirt designs now i got some new shirt designs on there that um i literally just put on there so y'all go copy all the shirt y'all ain't gotta get no sweater i know it's too hot to be wearing sweaters right now but y'all can get you a shirt it's 20 dollars um i got a little discount code too the discount is 20 percent off i'm gonna put it right here on my face so y'all ain't got no excuse it's gonna be cheaper than what it originally is so i don't want to hear no complaints go buy you a shirt y'all always ask me oh do you have merch yeah scroll down another thing i want to say is i have two other channels that y'all need to subscribe to as i mentioned all throughout this video i have a tutorial channel i took down my two tutorials that i put on my personal channel and put it on another channel because i didn't want to put all these things in one channel so i have a tutorial channel it's gonna be right here it's called filmmatic tutorial the link is in the description and will be at the end of this video you can type it in subscribe and all that good stuff so if you want to learn how to be a filmmaker i'm gonna teach y'all the basics i got y'all go over to that channel subscribe and also i have a group channel if y'all didn't know i'm in a group called y'all boys entertainment y'all should know this by now we got a thousand subscribers and i know with y'all alone we can get to two thousand subscribers so y'all go subscribe to that channel it's like y'all getting the best of both worlds y'all see skits on one channel y'all gonna see skits on another channel with my face in it and my homie's face so go subscribe to the channel please thank you um overall i hope y'all enjoyed the video uh that's all I really got to say. I will see y'all when I see y'all.